For decades, the world of technology has operated on an unspoken law. The one who controls the most advanced chips controls the future. From the power in your smartphone to the brains of a supercomputer, everything is built on a foundation of silicon. And for years, one question has dominated the landscape of global power. Who has the key to the next generation? We've been told the cutting edge of semiconductor fabrication is an exclusive club. A club with a bouncer named ASML and a membership fee of billions of dollars. We've been told that without the most advanced lithography tools, the door to true technological independence is locked forever. The West has held this key, and the rest of the world has been forced to play by its rules. But what if that rulebook has just been torn up? What if the impossible has been achieved? Today, a single number has sent shockwaves through boardrooms and government offices from Washington, D.C. to Taipei. A number that represents not just a technical breakthrough, but a seismic shift in the chip war 2025. A number that proves once and for all that the rules of this game have changed. This is the story of how China Tech defied the odds and the secret number that proves it all. Stay with us, because the most important reveal is coming at the very end of this video. Welcome back, Revo Now viewers. Before we can understand the magnitude of today's news, we have to grasp the science behind it. You've heard the numbers, 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer, and now, the holy grail, 2 nanometer. But what do these tiny measurements actually mean? A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. To put that in perspective, a human hair is roughly 80,000 nanometers thick. So, a 2 nanometer chip is dealing with a scale that is almost impossibly small. This number, the process node, essentially refers to the size of the transistors, the tiny switches that form the brain of every integrated circuit. Now, why is smaller better? It's simple physics. When you shrink the transistors, you can pack more of them onto a single chip. This leads to two critical advantages. Massive performance boost. With more transistors packed closer together, information travels faster, increasing the chip's overall processing speed. This is the engine that powers everything from advanced AI to the most demanding video games. Increased power efficiency. Smaller transistors require less energy to switch on and off. This means chips can run faster without overheating and can dramatically extend the battery life of devices like smartphones and laptops. Achieving these smaller nodes is not just an incremental step, it's a leap forward. It's a quantum jump in engineering, requiring unimaginable precision and a multi-billion dollar investment. This is why for so long, the race to 2 nanometer was believed to be an exclusive battle between giants like TSMC and Samsung, with one nation seemingly left behind. To truly appreciate this story, you have to understand the geopolitical rules that have governed the digital dragon's ambitions for years. The United States, through a complex web of sanctions and export controls, has effectively cut China Tech off from the most critical tools needed to fabricate these next-generation chips. The most famous example is the EUV lithography machine, manufactured exclusively by the Dutch company ASML. Without these machines, which use extreme ultraviolet light to etch incredibly intricate patterns onto silicon, many experts believed that advanced nodes like 2 nanometer were simply impossible for China to achieve. This was the West's strategic chokehold, the ultimate ace up its sleeve. This led to a deeply polarized landscape. On one side, we have TSMC, the undisputed world leader, and Samsung, their fierce competitor, both with unfettered access to the latest tech. On the other side, we have Chinese tech companies, ambitious, well-funded, but supposedly crippled by the lack of these essential tools. The narrative was clear. The West would maintain its technological lead, and China would remain dependent. The sanctions were working, or so we thought. This brings us to the very heart of the mystery. How does a company leapfrog this choke point? How do you innovate when the best tools are off limits? This is where the story of SMIC and its relentless pursuit of a workaround truly begins. And while you're contemplating this technological chess game, take a moment to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're on a mission to bring you the most in-depth original analysis of the tech stories that matter, and your support makes it all possible. Make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Now, let's dig deeper into the incredible engineering challenge that SMIC had to overcome. The road to 2 nanometer is paved with complexity. For years, SMIC's progress was a source of both pride and skepticism. After achieving the 7 nanometer node using a combination of older DUV machines and advanced techniques, the question became, could they possibly go further? Experts, analysts and competitors all agreed that moving to 2 nanometer without EUV lithography was a non-starter. 
They argued that the required multi-patterning techniques, where you etch the same layer multiple times to achieve the desired detail, would be so complex, so prone to error, that the cost and yield would be catastrophic. For a company to produce a chip at an advanced node, a specific metric called yield is everything. Yield is simply the percentage of good working chips you get from a single silicon wafer. A low yield means you're throwing away a lot of expensive material, making the process commercially unviable. For a new advanced node, a yield of 30 to 40 percent is considered a solid starting point. But to make billions of chips for a global market, you need that number to be consistently over 80 percent. This is where the doubt came in. The consensus was that SMIC, forced to use these complex multi-patterning methods, would be lucky to get a yield of even 20 percent on a 2 nanometer process. The cost would be astronomical, the process too slow, and the whole endeavor nothing more than a symbolic low-volume gesture. It would prove a point, but it wouldn't change the game. But recent whispers and leaked reports from supply chain sources have been suggesting otherwise. These weren't just rumors. They were hinting at something fundamentally different, a level of efficiency no one thought possible. They were hinting at the number you've been waiting for. Over the last few months, the tension has been building. Industry analysts and insider publications have been scrambling to get a handle on the situation. We've seen reports of SMIC's new fabrication lines in Shanghai, hints of unprecedented technological partnerships between Chinese tech companies, and a significant surge in demand for domestic chip production. Every piece of information was like a tiny piece of a puzzle, but the full picture was still a mystery. Was SMIC truly making progress? Or was this just more hype from a country determined to project strength? The skepticism remained, but it was now tinged with a growing sense of dread in the West. The narrative of an impossible task was starting to crumble, one rumor at a time. This led to the most critical question in the entire tech Cold War. If SMIC had a viable 2 nanometer process, what was its yield? Was it a single digit number, a token effort to save face, or was it something else entirely? The answer to this question changes everything. It changes the balance of power, the future of the chip war 2025, and the fate of countless tech companies around the globe. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. And now we have the number. The moment of truth has arrived. According to a highly anticipated report from a leading industry analysis firm, citing multiple third-party teardowns and supply chain verifications, the unthinkable has happened. The confirmed yield rate for SMIC's 2 nanometer process is 68%. For a brand new cutting edge node, this is not just a success, it's a world class achievement. A 68% yield rate means that for every 100 chips produced on a wafer, 68 of them are perfect and ready to be sold. This number is not just a theoretical figure. It proves that the process is not only technically feasible, but also commercially viable and scalable. It is a stunning, undeniable testament to a decade of relentless effort and innovation under pressure. It means that the strategic chokehold of the West has, in this one critical area, been bypassed. So, what does a 68% yield rate for SMIC's 2 nanometer process really mean for the world? 1. Technological Sovereignty for China this confirms that China is no longer dependent on Western tech for its most critical advanced semiconductors. It can now produce its own high-end chips for everything from AI to military applications, effectively neutralizing a key strategic pressure point. 2. A two-sided tech world. We are now likely to see a permanent split in the global supply chain. One ecosystem will continue to rely on the West's tools and technology, while the other, comprising Chinese tech companies and their partners, will accelerate its development of its own independent tools and processes. 3. Intensified competition. This is a direct challenge to the dominance of TSMC and Samsung. While their yield rates and experience remain at a different level, SMIC has shown it can play in the same sandbox. This will force a new wave of innovation and competition that could benefit the entire industry in the long run. This isn't the end of the tech cold war, but it is a turning point. The playing field has been leveled in a way few predicted. The technological gap, once thought to be insurmountable, is now demonstrably shrinking. And that brings us to the end of this deep dive. This is a story that is still unfolding and its impact will be felt for years to come. What do you think this news means for the future of technology? Have you seen this play out in other sectors? Share your thoughts and tell us what you'd like to see us cover next in the comments below. This is Revo Now decoding tomorrow's hidden tech landscape today. Subscribe to Revo Now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.